Hello, oh, what up guys? Back with another video. This time, an overview of Yamaha DX7, the greatest plugin. Well, one of the greatest plugins from the 80s. Michael Jackson made hits on this, Madonna, Cindy Lauper, uh, George Michael, Phil Collins, you know, you name it. You no, know, this synthesizer is awesome. And you should get it. Go get it. It's, it's a little bit expensive, right? But it's worth it, guys. Get it. All right, let's get right into it. I'm going to open this fella up here for you guys. <clears throat> and let's listen to it. I made already a setup ready for you guys also. So let's just kind of make it fit properly. Just that, right? Doom. And then, let me also fit this up. Let's see uh, here. I'm gonna give you the basics, right? So here, you know, if you wanna play poly, if you wanna play chords, right? Right? So if you wanna play, then you must, you, must, you have to, Activate the poly. If you want to play mono, so if you want to play this, is the you would use mono if you want to do portmanteau. So portmanteau is right here, right? So let's see. Portmanteau is when you make the, the last note. Overlap with the new node, right? If you don't know what that is, so they overlap kind of. But I use poly, right? So I'm going to give you the basics on this. Then we have the arpeggiator right here, and you turn it on right here. Well, let's turn it on. Boop. So now I'm going to play the sound. Right? So let's pull this down. So we don't want that put on, we just want. So let's slow it down a bit also. Sounds like that. All right, it's pretty good. So here you have this, the movie I would say it's the most essential thing here, right? So here it's different from sound to sound what the setup is here, but basically here's where you change the sound a lot. So let's give it a shot. Oh yeah. So what I like to do when I make, you know, my own music, the Bloodsport style and the synth waves and all that, I always design one of the sound is my own design and I like to make it mystical, you know, like mystic. So that's what I look for when I do my own style music. Right? So let's try this shit. Let's try this. Yes, I'm already liking it a lot. So you can pull it, make it go one octave up. Every time. Do, 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 do. Something like that, right? That's even better. So that's how you play with the always with the the arpeggiator, but always remember to have the sync on because or else it sounds like. That. Well, you can use that in my, maybe in some beats, right? But always leave the sync on because automatically just go all the way up. So the sync on, you can control the rate, right? The speed. And here you have the pattern you want. You can make the one go up, down, uh, and up and down, up and down, or ex extra. I don't know what this is actually, but and then I have the random. I never used the random. But let's just do one as played. So let's make a new illustration. Let's take a new sound. So this is going to like this. Pretty nice, right? The sounds here, they're awesome. So let's add the arpeggio. And let's slow it down. All right. 
So here you already you see there are different effects, right? So you have to cut off. Let's let's remove some of the eyes. Make it soft. You see the timber is the one that changes the sound drastically. So let's play it with that one and see what happens. Alright, so as you can hear, you can manage a lot of things here. So let me let's, let me get this over with the part right this part. So here is so all types here you can choose right. So you can choose all types, then you get everything there is in the plugin. A lot of amazing, incredible sounds, man. A lot of them. And here you can narrow it down to bass, brass keys, lead, organ, pad, percussion, sequence, sound effects, strings, and your own design. You can make your own then save it. So let's move on to another illustration. So this already is kind of the arpeggio is already on because it's called Lively Arps. So it's in the name, right? So Let's play around with the setting here and see what we can get out of this. Oh uh, yeah, you hear that? So now in this software, when you move something, this hand, you can pull it down here and then it will register that you want to play around with this effect. You want to automate. It's called automation if you don't know. So let's, I'm going to show you guys what I mean. Let's pull this one all the way out and then see. You. And then let's pull this one down again, right? So you see, you, you're adding an extra dimension to it, right? So when you automate this, you can always use it to just give that extra dimension. And you can always pull it a little bit down. I think it was a bit too much. And let's pull these two also down. So there's a greater difference when it rises. Let's put it here. Let's check it. See what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But just for the sake of fun, let's add a kick, a beat, just a kick to it, right? Let's get a kick right here. I'll just take any kind of kick, I don't want to. So let's just copy. Oh, okay. Let's delete. Oh. Let's delete all this. And I know it's on the, the C1, the C2, sorry. And what I do, I have the setup right here. So I already set it up so I can quantize the way I want. So if you look here, I press three, you get a quarter, right? You see a two is a half. This one is a whole, right? A half, quarter. An eight, and then what I want is a quarter, and then I just slice them right so you get something like this. Oh, how we do this? How we talk? Just gotta have some fun guys. Always let's have some fun with this. Alright, let's get back to the tutorial. Let's let's meet this. <laughs> so as you can see, so much you can do with this, right? So I automated this part. Let's play around with the color. Let's make it soft too. See what I mean? 
Oh yeah, baby. This is good. Okay, just for the fun of <laughs> the sake of having fun with it, right? Let's do this. <laughs> I just I don't know why I just feel like doing it. Let's just add a clap to it also. Alright, let's do this. Move here and then put the and then let's go inside. Let's get a clap. Okay, let's do this. I'm already liking it. Let's just check something. Just wanna be sure. Yes, I don't want those frequencies. Right, just for the sake of having fun, right? This. For the sake of having fun, I'm gonna play a little bit around and just make a little bit. I was just gonna show you the plugin and all that, but let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let's go all the way down. Oh my god. It is quite annoying. Basically, I'll do the same here. Just copy it, and then I just kind of have my something like this. Something like this. Right? All right. And let's pan it. Yes, look at this. Let's just organize a little bit, right? Always organize. Clap. And let's put this the 16 on the left. 15, 16. Hmm. Alright, folks. That's it for the fun. Let's get back to the plugin. <laughs> And then we, you know, mm, there is some of the things, this, the envelopes and the sequencer, I will leave that for a more advanced tutorial. But let's go to the sound effects, the effects, right? So here you have the effects rack. Let's call it that. And on here you have these rectangles, which where you can, you can choose the effect you want. You got phaser, flanger, analog, delay, analog, delay, delay. Analog chorus, reverb, parent, EQ, filter, overdrive, destroy, and compressor, right? So you can you know, minimize here if you click here. You pull it, you can also just minimize if you don't want it. So you always remember to look out for if this is on. It happened to me once I forgot forgot it, then I had to export it again. I had to go in and then export it again because I forgot to turn it on. So you can choose whatever you want and then here on the wet and dry is how much of the effect you want to get through right so that's very simple and the delay reverbs all those controls well you should know that right it's basic it's very basic to know this so let's go back to the overview and here you have the envelope i never play around with this too much because all the songs are already designed in a really awesome way so i just leave it at that and play around with these settings right so always remember the poly and mono and the vintage and 
because if you have the vintage right here, you will have noise. Without, with the modern one, you will have no noise, right? It's just a, a good, a nice option to have if you want to make some little bit very vintage. With There was always a little bit noise on the sound back in the days. That's it, and remember this, the poly and mono, very important. It happened to me in the beginning, I didn't know, I couldn't play chords. And this, this, this sound is amazing. Right? Good man, it's good. So let's find a last example. Oh man. In Blastboard, this will be this perfect in Blastboard. So let's add the arpeggio and see what we get. Let's play the melody we we already used, right? With our create. So there's an attack. You see right? So let's remove the attack. See. So that's how you, this part, right, this way, with the K, you control the K of the sound, the release, the K, and also the attack of the sound, right? So this is if you want to make a pad, right? So on the pad, it's always attack, right? And that's what we do. So you get something like that. Soft, but it sounds really nice like this, right? Without the attack. So... Okay, okay, something just popped in my head. Let's, let's do this. Okay, we don't want, I don't want this exact one right here in this. But I want, I want something bassy, right? Where is the bass? The bases, where are they? Should be here. So let's do this. I don't know. Why? That one, right? I want a bass. So let's just skip to that. Where are you? The bass. Alright, guys, I just wanted to play around with it. So what we're gonna do? I already made a mistake, right? So let's just let's copy the very plugin we are using, right? I chose another one. That was kind of a mistake. Let's remove it from here. Also. Let's just. Oh, let me just. And here. It's a lot easier to find the bass. I don't know why it was so complicated on the other, the other one, which is a also awesome plugin. Same thing. Let's try this one out. Bite this. I just want a long. Yes. Ooh. 
Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna save this. This is gonna be a synth wave for you guys. So we got that, right? So let's let let's add last a last thing on this. One last thing. And let's do something random. Let's go. This is just crazy. Three, four. You know, baby? What was What is that? What happened? It sounds awesome, but I didn't do nothing. Oh, this is gonna be a new plus board, man. Ooh. Dope, man. <laughs> yeah, man. So what I'm gonna do right here, right? I'm gonna save as, and I'm gonna go here, Studio One, our songs, JC, and then I'm gonna make new one down, or oh, one down, let's just call it one down nine. Boom! Now that's it, man. Expect this one to be really dope. I'm gonna work on this, but now. I'm gonna try and work on the real themes from Blastboard and get some of those done. Cause I have started on three of them, but I haven't finished them. So I should do that for you guys. I don't want to do too many remixes from Blastboard. Not not that I don't want too many. I'm gonna do them all, but I want to have a long break from them because what happens when you listen to the same sound for a long time a period, it kind of becomes boring, right? You don't enjoy it the same way. It happened to me twice with Blastboard. So I, I always give it a long break and then I make a remix, long break, remix. Because I love Blastboard music and I don't want to spoil it, right? Listen too much to it. And when you're trying to, you know, trying to break it down and you're trying to analyze, when you completely know everything about that sound, that theme, it kind of spoils it. I don't know if you know what I mean. But, you know, it does. So I have long breaks, but I'm always working on them a little bit, bit by bit. But I'm going to, yeah, it's going to take a while before release in between, in between the releases, right? I also want to have time to, of course, make my own music, my own Bloodsport style and synth waves. And at some point when I start selling my music on my page, I'll be also selling, you know, putting out my dope, dope artist beats right real dope timbaland dr dre style beats and uh, hip-hop trap and in there being between right so why am i gonna wait with that so that's it guys thanks a lot man for listening remember always leave a like comment and if you haven't subscribed subscribe and if you're awesome share all right thanks man peace out and take care